How could a mother use her children for bad deeds and take advantage of them as well, this had been the story of Joyce, but before we get into it, if you like true life stories, do subscribe, and press the notification button to be notified whenever a new video is posted. This is how Joyce narrated her story. My name is Joyce and this is the reason why I left home and don't want to go back again anymore. I was staying with my parents and my younger brother, my father treated us badly, he doesn't take care of us, the problem isn't because of money, because he gets money however, he uses the money on drinks and other women. When he worked and got a lot of money, he would get drunk and spend the money other people rather than us, his family. We were attending a private school but because he doesn't pay our fees, we were sacked from school to the house, this situation really worried our mother so, she sent us to a public school nearby. Our mother would wash the clothes of people around to get money to take care of us. Meanwhile, our father would get drunk and misuse all the money he had, due to this, our mother gave us an advice which turned out to be a very bad one, she told us to search our father's pockets for money, whenever he came back from work as he was mostly drunk. So, we started doing that, whenever our father came back from work drunk and he removed his trousers, we shall sneak into the room and searched his pocket and remove all the money he had and send it to our mother. In addition to that, my brother and I sometimes went out of the house to steal people's money and then bring it to our mother. We did all these, so that our mother would have money to take care of us, though she knew we were stealing from outside the house, she never complained or asked us to stop. One day, my father had a huge contract to build a house for someone as he was a mason, he was then given a large sum of money to buy building materials to start the building project. That day, when he came home, he was drunk as usual so, my brother and I sneaked into the room and took all the money from our father's pocket. In fact, it was a lot of money, and we gave the money to our mother as planned, the next morning, our father looked for the money everywhere in the room but couldn't find it. Then he asked our mother, but she denied seeing any money and added that my father didn't give her money so, she doesn't know where the money was. My father was extremely worried as the money was huge and didn't belong to him. Few days later, my father was arrested but was later released on the condition of paying back the money but because he was not able to pay, he overworried and one day in that process, he fell and had stroke, when I made the attempt to assist him. My mother rebuked me and forbid me from helping him. People around took my father to the hospital, but my mother refused to go, and it was at the hospital that it was confirmed that he had stroke. My father was later brought home, now he was sick and couldn't work and so, our living condition was getting worse because my father who wasn't taking care of us must be taken care of now. Our landlady and my mother were very close, she was old and therefore used the money she got from renting her rooms for petty trading, one day, she sent my brother to her room to pick something for her, when my brother got into the room, he saw the landlady's money tied in a bag and he took the money and gave it to our mother. Our mother also never asked him where he got the money from but kept it. The next day, the landlady started crying and alerting everybody that she had been robbed, she asked my mother, knowing that it was my brother who went into her room and nobody else, but my brother denied taking any money. Out of pain, the landlady naked herself and cursed the one who took the money that by six months time something horrible would happen to the person. Some few days after the curse, my brother started falling sick and eventually died the same way as in the curse. All these whiles, my father was in bed sick of stroke, after my brother was buried, my mother started accusing my sick father of the death of my brother. That is if he had taken care of us, all these wouldn't have happened. For these reasons, my mother decided to punish my sick father and she did that by refusing to give him food and water, my father would be there for over a week without food and water and whenever, I tried to give him something, my mother would shout at me, take the food, and throw it away. This in addition to other mistreatments that my mother meted on my sick father. My sick father would spoil himself with urine and toilet, but my mother would never attend to him and would not allow me to attend to him as well. One night, we were asleep when my father started screaming and calling for food and water. 
I tried three times to give him the food and the water, but my mother prevented me and warned me not to give him anything. My father struggled on the bed and finally fell from the bed and died. The next morning, thinking that, he was asleep, I wanted to wake him up, but he was not responding, I then called in my mother but when she realized that my father was dead, then she started screaming and calling for help. She quickly changed his clothes and diapers so that, nobody would know that she mistreated my father. When he was sent to the hospital, it was confirmed that he was dead so, my father died in the room with us because my mother refused to attend to him. Now I was left with my mother, my father and my brother are dead, my mother started taking me out to steal. What we normally do was that my mother and I would go to a bus station and sit in a VIP bus pretending to travel, instead, I would pick the travelers money and phones from their bags when they step out to ease themselves. I would give whatever I got to my mother who would be standing by the window waiting. The moment she received the stolen item, I would get off of the bus and run off. My mother and I had become partners in crime, and we steal wherever we go. I took this stealing character to school and would steal all my friend's provisions and money, bring them to my mother in the house and go back to school and pretend as if nothing had happened. This was what I was doing till I completed the secondary school. Now when I came out of school, my mother started giving me out to men to sleep with me for money, a lot of different men, she sometimes gave me out to her own boyfriends to sleep with me and then collect money from them. Sometimes when the month ends, my mother would ask me to call all the men I had slept with and tell them that I'm pregnant, my mother and I would collect money from all of them with the intention of aborting the pregnancy, meanwhile, I'm not pregnant. This also went on for a long while, one day, we went to the bus station to steal as usual but when I made the attempt to pick someone's wallet, I was caught and beaten mercilessly and was later sent to the police station. I went with my mother, so when I was caught, I thought she would come and rescue me from the people beating me but to my shock and surprise my mother was nowhere to be found, she ran away from me, and I was beaten and could have died for nothing. Fortunately, or unfortunately, when I left the police station, I met a friend who was a bit older than I, she told me, she was into prostitution, and I decided to join her do the prostitution trade as my mother had already introduced me to it and purposed not to go home again to my mother because she doesn't have any good plan and thought for me. My mother is calling me to come back home, obviously for her to make money out of me and use me to her advantage. I hate her, don't want to have anything to do with her and I don't want to forgive her. What should I do now? This is the true life story of Joyce, a very young lady, who is experiencing life on a bad note, do leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe, see you in the next video.